you guys. I am so excited about this episode because we literally are taking the heat up a notch. We are making Cajun shrimp bake, and I have my amazing friend Lem here. What's up, everybody? I'm in the house. <laughs> you know what? He's been talking smack about all these other chefs on MasterChef this entire season. So you know what? I'm challenging Lem's skills in the kitchen. It's going down, son. It's going down. It's going down. Are you ready? Yes. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. So first and foremost, we have all these different spices because you know with Cajun, you gotta bring the heat. Have to. You have to. Okay, so first what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna work on our vegetable. So we're, let's work on our, actually, potatoes and starch. So I'm gonna have you cut up the potatoes okay. into fours. Okay. Um, here, let me show you kind of what I'm thinking of. I want you to go like this and then like this. See that? Mm -hmm. So that's what kind of what I want you to do right here. Go okay. through all of that. And while you're doing that, Lem, um, I have a few questions to ask you, so let's go ahead. Okay. So what is your cooking level on a scale of one to 10, 10 being an expert, what are you walking in with today? Um, I wanna say I'm a solid five. You're five, I'm okay. I'm a solid five, yes. Okay, what are you hoping to be at the end of this episode? I'd like to be at 8.7. An 8.7. Yes. If you can master this dish, and I think it's the bomb, it's bringing okay. the heat and everything, you'd probably be a 10. Really? This dish is very complicated. Okay, okay, I'm ready for it. Because first of all, viewers, I'm gonna break it down for you really quick. First of all, Lum is gonna have to cut the potatoes. I already pre-cut the corn for him, which is fantastic. We're then going to have to season. We have one, two, three, four, five, eight different seasonings, perfectly blended. Then you're gonna throw that in the oven for about 25 minutes, and then we're gonna have to bring it out and then add the protein, throw it back in the oven for another 20 minutes, and then it's done. Mm, so you. I think I can handle that. You can handle that. I think I can you handle can bring it. The heat. I'm ready the to Cajun handle it. Heat. Do you see my skills with the cutting? Look knife? at this! Do you see it? Do you Look see at it? this! Do you see it? I follow instructions very well. You do. Yes. You know what? And I think someone gave you a hint. They were like, you know, Glenn, you just gotta listen. You just gotta listen. Exactly. That's all you gotta do. Exactly. Okay, so while you're doing that, I think that's like a good, but maybe the, the these, this potato is a, a little, little bigger. Bit. So okay. maybe like kind of, yeah, because I want them all around this size. It'd okay. Great. Um, when you do that, I want you to then cut the squash in half. Okay. So you'll do that. I already, I helped Lem out. So for those of you guys like, why she got Lem doing all the work? Sit down. Because I helped him out and I cut up the green and red bell peppers already and the zucchini for you, so. And then, so yeah, so Lem, what was your, what did you learn? What's gonna, from hosting MasterChef, mm -hmm. what skill set from watching that show do you think is gonna bring, that you're gonna bring here to the table? Um, I think it's going to be um, my presentation. Your presentation? My presentation is going to be on point. Okay. Uh, and that's something that was huge, uh, hugely discussed on MasterChef yes. a lot um, with the contestants. So yes. I feel like my presentation is going to be oh, the wow. bomb. Yes. All right. So do you think... So are you thinking of it now while you're cutting these potatoes? Are you, are you gonna save it for it probably while it's baking? You know, um, do you want me to give you like what I'm No, or do you want to surprise me? I want to surprise you. Okay, okay. I want you to see like where I'm, I'm gonna coming move with. these potatoes off okay. to the side. Let's do that. All right. So I'm cutting these in half as yes. you stated. Yes. yes, in half. Okay. Look at that, there you go. Wow. These that one's a little bit bigger, so maybe do that one a little bit. Maybe do, uh, cut this down a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Boom. There Boom. you go. Look at that. He's killing Boom. it. Boom. I got two on a time. <laughs> two at a time, son. You see that? You see that? Two at a time. Is there anybody you're looking to impress? Like when you're like, you know what? I know how to do this. You know, I, I would love to impress my girlfriend mm -hmm. and just kind of let her know, like, because, you know, she told me, she, you know, she's she can cook. Yes. She can cook. You know, yes. I've had her cooking and um, I want to be able to impress her and be like, look, this is what I can do. Boom. I'm right there with you. Oh my god. That's what I love well, to do. You are too funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this pan with some Pam. <laughs> and put this in here. Okay. okay. So while I'm doing that, I need you to cut the uh, chicken sausage. Okay. You're gonna cut that in half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Boom. Two at a time, son. Two at a time. <laughs> so I'm two at a time. So what are we doing today? This looks like extra, so I'll just move this off to the side so okay. you can use this cutting board. Okay. So what I want you to do is cut those in like, probably, let me show you, like maybe like about an inch. So kind of like this. I want you to go like this. Like that. OK. 
Okay. So I need you to do that with us. Okay, that's the rest of it. Yep. Gotcha. And then you can go ahead and finish this last piece. Right? Boom. Look at this. I'm literally testing his knife skills with these. With this whole entire recipe, it's all about your knife skills, guys. Okay. I might even have you, these are little, these are cut a little big, so I might even have you do these in okay. house too. Boom. Test it. Test it. Complete. <laughs> a plus. All right, let's go ahead and get the zucchini in there because okay. I'm gonna let you finish that later, but let's go okay. ahead and get this uh, vegetables See. going. This okay. is a little bit bigger, so I might need you to cut that a little okay. bit in this one. You're doing good, you're doing good. I'm just finding like a little bit, little pieces that I okay. want you to do. I was following instructions, Carlina. No, but you have to also go based on the potato oh, size. See, one? people all okay. think like literally like four, okay. but if you have a big potato, you're mm -hmm. gonna have to cut it down. So you want gotcha. them to all be the same size. Okay. So that's another thing to learn gotcha. a little bit. So, you know, we have it sprinkled in here. So what I'm gonna do, you grab your spices from that side. Okay. I grab mine from this side. What you're gonna do is I want you to coat, I have garlic salt here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna coat that like that. Okay. You do yours. Garlic powder. Garlic powder, boom. Bump. We're gonna like just alternate like this. Bump. I have ancho chili pepper. Okay. Boom. Red pepper sun. <laughs> All day. Boom. Parsley. Mm. Boom. All right. This is cayenne red pepper. Ooh, it's of about the to cayenne spicy. family. The yes. cayenne family. And yes. then for me, the last I got the basil leaves right here. Mm. And what you finishing up? Good salt? old seasoning salt found. Found. Everywhere. Boom. Found. Okay. Boom. Then I have some amazing basil olive oil, so we're gonna spray some of that. Let me first unlock it. Cause you want to coat your vegetables, and then I'm gonna have Lim go in there with his hands and start mixing up that seasoning, cause you want it to be completely Boom. like mixed together. And you know what? While he's doing that, I'm gonna throw in our bell peppers. Can't forget those guys. Get all that seasoning in there. Do you smell that, Lynn? I smell it. Do you smell it? I smell it. What does it smell like, Lynn? It smells like grace. <laughs> it smells, like, it smells like goodness and grace. <laughs> Boom. Oh my gosh. So with the corn, let's yes. go ahead. It's fine if you got seasoning on your hands. We're gonna mm -hmm. just put seasoning salt on the corn. Seasoning salt on yeah, the corn. Yeah, because the corn's already gonna absorb all these seasonings, okay. but I just want an extra bit of seasoning salt on okay. it. Okay. Get it. And it's a little wet, so I gotta open this again. Yeah, I got this. You got it? There you oh, go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and so he's gonna then put this into the pan. We're gonna bake this for about 25 minutes. Mm. And then we're gonna start working on our protein. Look at that, ooh, look at that. Nicely oh. all coated all over. That's right, that's all right, these, thorough. These spices, this is how thorough. you, I don't even know why people are like, you know, when they cook, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't smell, my food don't right. smell good, but it tastes good. Right, I, exactly, that doesn't make sense. It does not make that sense. That makes sense, your, it nostrils, does not. your nostrils are terrible. That's what that is. <laughs> That's what that is. I am not trying your food. Please stop DMing me. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying your food if it does not taste, if it doesn't smell good. I'm not eating it. I'm so sorry. sorry. It needs to smell like this. Yes. Like it's not even cooked yet. We didn't even put it in the oven and it smells amazing. Goodness and grace right here. Thank you. Okay, it let's is. go ahead and put, I think we can maybe fit only like about two because this is two? kind of a smaller pan. Yeah, because okay. we're cooking for two. This is cooking for two. Okay. So for those of you who are like, well, this size. So obviously if you double this pan, you then have four. Before. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. It's at 350 degrees. Okay. All right. What are we doing with the sausage, Cardi? Um, with the sausage, that's gonna be later. So we're gonna put this in the oven, and okay. then I'm gonna have you, you. You're gonna finish cutting up the sausage. Okay. We're gonna add the shrimp, and then we're gonna add these seasonings. Boom! All Together. over again. Together. Boom. Got it. Got it. All Got right. It. All right. Let's go ahead Got and put it. this in the oven. So now you have your sausage. Do you remember what we did and everything? Uh, yes, we cut these into like one inch pieces. Yep. So I'm gonna do that with these here. Yes. Boom. And then after that, we're gonna season them just like we did with the vegetables. Remember all those eight seasonings? Mm -hmm. We're gonna add the shrimp to it as well. Okay. And these shrimp are cooked and the sausage is cooked, so it cuts down on your baking time. Mm. If you do them raw, obviously they're yes. gonna be in the oven for 45 minutes and I'm hungry. I don't have time to wait. Do you have time to wait? For I have no time to wait. Thank you. None. <laughs> I'm hungry. I came here hungry. Okay, so you know what? We have that in the oven, the vegetables in the oven. So right now you are cutting up the sausage, yes. the chicken sausage, yes. right? Just finished. Just finished. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add in the shrimp and then we're gonna start our seasoning. Remember those eight seasonings we just yes. did with the yes. vegetables? Yes. So I believe I went first, right? I did, did it with like the garlic salt. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boom. You're next. Boom. Ground red pepper. Boom. Yes, I got the parsley. Okay. Boom. Boom, garlic powder. What? Boom. I got the ancho chili pepper. Mm. The cayenne red pepper. That's gonna make it 
high. Oh, that's where the heat's coming Whoa. from. The basil leaves. Boom. And that good old seasoned salt. Bam. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with the basil olive oil. Just to give it like, you know, it helps it just soak in. And then Lem's gonna go ahead and yeah, crash that up. Yeah. Boom. So as soon as the vegetables are done baking, you're gonna add our protein to it and let it bake for another 25 minutes. If you want extra flavoring, you can have it marinate, which is what I did. You can have it marinate overnight in the in the spices. Mm. Right? So it's a real idea. right? Absolutely. So this Get is it like, all in there. Like just take a sniff of that. That's been marinating overnight. Mm. Oh goodness. <laughs> goodness and grace. I feel it. Spiritual right there. Oh my god. All right, so that's literally what you guys are gonna do. So I think we should head over to see what everything looks like. Yes, let's do it. Oh my gosh, Lem, this looks amazing. I'm yes. so proud of you. Thank you. This look, yes, this looks like a 10. Did I'm just you, gonna tell you did that. Did you have any doubt though? A little. Just a little. I got a little nervous about the potato cause like, okay. you know, you didn't know how to cut like the bigger pieces a little bit smaller to make a match. Like I said, I was following your instructions, but you did, you know, it, give me the more information. So once I got more information, information. I corrected okay. it and it's all good. Okay, okay. So I know you said you're gonna impress me with your plating skills. Yes. So, so yes. far I see kind of like what you're going on. Absolutely. You know, with the corn here mm -hmm. and the shrimp bake over here. Mm -hmm. So, okay, how do you plan to finish this? So I gotta cut a piece of baguette here um, situation. So I wanna cut this in half. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of open face okay. uh, situation. And then you can, you know, put butter on there if you want cream cheese um, or like a garlic spread. I mean, we got a lot of seasonings going on in here. Yeah. I didn't think it needed much more because there's so much color in the dish already. There so is. we got the baguette, we got the corn and we got the color and it's grace right there on the plate. Boom. This looks amazing. I am so interested to see you try your masterpiece. I'm going to do it right now. Let's see. All right. Boom. Boom. Let me get in there. Don't forget like a shrimp, a yes. potato. You got to grab like one, one of each. Yes. Yes. Boom. There so, we go. Let's see if we Lem brought the heat. Mmm. Smells so good. Mmm. <laughs> the anointing. The is anointing in is in that. The anointing you, is in that. You are this. proud of yourself, Lem. Very proud. You're very proud, very proud. of yourself. Sure. Oh sure. my gosh. For this dish, go to my website www.cookingwithcarlina.com for the recipe. Also check me out on Instagram at cookingwithcarlina. Uh, Lem, where can everybody find you? Everyone can find me at the Poet Saint. That's the Poet Saint on all social media platforms. And you can check me out on the website, stayonthemic.com. And I might just start a cooking portion and have dishes like this, um, just so I can show how amazing I am at cooking as well. Boom! I am done with that. But you know what? I'm really impressed because, you know, a master chef, he's talking about all these chefs. Mm -hmm. And now you guys, chefs, you know, Caesar, Ashley, mm -hmm. Jerron, mm -hmm. he mastered the shrimp, mm -hmm. Cajun shrimp bake. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. All right, thank you guys, bye.